everyone. We are backstage at the 50th annual Dove Awards with one of my favorites, Nicole C. Mullins. She has a new album coming out. I want to hear all about it. Well, good. I have an album that's out called Like Never Before. Mm -hmm. And um, it's probably my first complete album in probably, I think, maybe about five years or so that I actually put out. And um, it's, it's kind of like taking pages from my journal. Okay. And it's full of songs. Some of them are Redeemer-like, and some of them are songs of triumph. They're songs of celebration. They're upbeat, you know. And, um, but they're all a part of my journey. And um, in the past five years, I went from being married for 21 years to being a single mom, you know, to having to practice forgiveness, <laughs> to um, seeing God provide to see him being everything he promised that he would be. And so um, the song, instead of it being born out of my night season, like Redeemer and Call on Jesus right. and on my knees, this one is probably one of my first offerings of my day. Oh, wow. And so um, it's, it's an album of celebration and it's an album of redemption. So it's called Like Never Before. Now you yes. told me you're writing books. Yes, what, yes. What genre are we well, doing? Um, all the above. Okay. Because, yeah, because I have plenty to say. Okay. Um, I'm doing how-to books. Mm -hmm. um, I am working on uh, a book on my life story. Okay. Working on a devotional. We just started the My Redeemer event, so okay. um, we are doing books in uh, just that goes along with that whole thing with um, God redeeming women, mm -hmm. speaking of women from the Bible to women that are our everyday sheroes even now. Um, so I'm working on curriculum for that. And then we have, like we were speaking of earlier, mm -hmm. the Baby Girls Club. Yes. And that's a nonprofit that I've had for probably about 25 years. Um, officially, probably 16 years, but off the, the grid for about 25 years. And it's me and some other young leaders, or older leaders, and we're pouring into the next generation. And we use um, the arts as our tool, and we disciple them. So we use the Word of God. We memorize scripture. We do Bible study. We um, dress up. We um, you know, uh, learn instrumentation. We dance. And ultimately, we're building disciples for Christ. And um, these young lives are really changing the world. Even, you know, um, just, just, yeah, they're changing the world. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So what advice would you give somebody who is wanting to be an artist or wanting to be a songwriter and mm. wanting to do and follow in your path? Yeah. What would you say to them? First of all, I'd say commit your gift to the Lord, you know, after you've committed your life to the Lord. And then practice, 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 you know, and, um, and then allow the Lord to determine how big your platform will be. Okay. Um, I've said for many years, it's up to us to determine what we put on the platform. So that's our skill. You know, David in the Bible was skilled and anointed. But uh, God gave him a talent, but he, he had to turn it into the skill by how he practiced, you know. But, um, and then after that, allow God to open up the right doors and don't be afraid of the small things, you know. Um, our, our duty is to be found faithful, like I've been saying, and that's if it's two people, sing, be found faithful. If it's 20, be found faithful. 200,000, be found faithful. The, the mass, is, that's up to God to determine how big it's going to be, but it's up to us to determine what we're going to put on that platform. And so that's the formula that I know that works. You know, if you're faithful in the small, God will make you ruler over much because that's what his word says. And right. he can't lie. So great advice. Yeah. Great words of wisdom. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming by oh, and talking to us. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.